Hi, this is Christian again. And this second video, if you haven't watched the first one yet, make sure you watch that first. Um, what I, what, where I went through uh, creating this algorithm here. So again, the idea is to create an algorithm that would perform an in-place operation. Again, the in-place algorithm, it just means that you transform or change data within the same data you, 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 were, you received without adding additional um, spaces, okay? So last time I created this one here using integer, I moved the, uh, the code into a function call in place temp and I pass it in here. I did not test um, for different types, but it should work for any, uh, virtually any type, okay? Because we just basically do a very simple swap. In other words, if I change that to, let's say if I change that to um, object, make an object type, maybe it's a little bit better. Change your object, we make that an object and we also do the object and so, it should, should still work just fine. Uh, as you can see, hopefully, here we go. And if you change this to like uh, or a string, so put A here, B, C, D, okay. It should still work for that type. So in this case, uh, any type would be fine, all right? So now let's do a different technique. This time we're going to use, I'm going, I'm going to go back to numbers only because it, it works only for numbers for this case. I will add another one here, um, 50, okay. And this, I wanna use something called the exclusive or operator. And that is using the caret, uh, caret symbol that looks like this one here, okay? Um, oops, this one here. So I'm gonna turn this off for now. And we're gonna create another function down here. Uh, it'll be kind of similar to this, but um, let's create another one here. Static void in place. Um, void in place, X, X, O, R, okay? This is gonna be object, the same data coming in. So this using the in place exclusive or, you are really doing everything almost like purely in place without creating any additional variable like this one down here. We created another variable to store that temp value. But using the exclusive, exclusive or, you can just basically swap the data between the the two slots without any additional work. Now, exclusive or will look something like the following. And so to understand a little bit better, I'm gonna go and uh, see if I can show my whiteboard and uh, we'll see if this works. Okay, let's see here. And I hope you can see my whiteboard here. All right, so um, here is what we look like. Let me see if I can use my little tablet here. I'm not really good at it. And it's not really, really nice, but um, let's see if it works. So here is what I mean by exclusive or. Now exclusive or you are dealing with the binary values of those numbers. So let's say that I have, um, I have a, um, a list of numbers. Uh, we'll put it on the top here, okay? So this is my list of numbers. Oops, it's not very nice, sorry about that. I was gonna put like uh, maybe uh, four numbers for, now, for, for us just for the sake of this example. I put two, uh, four, six, and eight, right? Our goal is basically, of course, to transpose this into eight, six, four, two, okay? So the idea is that at this, at this position, a zero position, one, two, and three, these are the indexes, okay? So we're gonna swap two and eight. So how do we do this? Now, you know, exclusive or you are dealing with the binding numbers of, of each of these positions. So the binding for two is like this. I put two here. The binding for two is using four positions, zero, zero, one, zero, okay? That's binding for two. And the binding for eight is, I put eight down here. So it's gonna be one, zero, 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 okay? So we do the exclusive or, you basically you do this and the, I put an X O R for exclusive or, is that, is this like the reverse of um, the or? That means that if the two values are the same, then they receive a zero. If they are different, then they receive a one, okay? So zero and then here one. So this new binary number is what? A 10, right? So we got a 10 because, you know, eight plus four, a zero, two is 10. So we're going to swap 10 into this position. So now at this point, if you go to the next slot, if I rewrite this again down here like this, sorry for my um, ugly writing here, 
this is now 10 and this is still four, six, eight. Okay, so I'm gonna do is swap this position uh, with the 10. So in this case, I would say something like, yeah, um, yeah so the n of zero will be 10. The next thing is we're gonna swap this number over here. Okay, so um, n of zero is equal to the n of zero here. So n of zero and, and Java used the angle the carrot like this. This is a exclusive or of the against the last number. So the n of right the n dot length, which is in this case right uh, minus one for now, or n of three, right? And then you do that exclusive or, and you're going to get a ten. You assign ten into the first lot. And then you do the eight. So same idea. So eight is now going to do eight against the 10. So here's 10 already. I'm going to do eight. So let's put eight down here. Eight is one, zero, zero, zero. So you do it again. Okay. So zero, zero is, uh, it says zero. One, zero, zero, one, zero. And it's the same. So it's a zero. So now you see, is this a two, right? This is a two now. So you put two in this lot. Okay, so I can cross this out, put a two here now. Well, guess what? This two is already this two here. You can see that already, right? I already transfer that over. So now my n of the third position, let's put here for now, is equal to the same thing, exactly the same command, put right here. If I do that, I'm gonna get two. And then you do one more time to replace a 10 with what was there before. I mean, I mean, the eight, how do you get that back? If you do another round, but this time you do, um, so I'm gonna do two against the 10, right? So here's a 10 because 10 is right here. Two is already here. So it'll be a one, zero, one, zero. You add them up, you get a zero, a zero, and then zero, a one. Well, what is that? That is an eight, all right? So now n of zero, again, you put the same code here again, and then you now see that you swap the eight over, and I just swap my eight and my two, okay? So that is the idea of using this um, exclusive or operator, very handy in situation like this. Okay, so now let's go back and continue on with our code. This time, we're going to change our code here, right, write our code, do as before, and for int i is zero, i will be less than the length of the n by two, just like down there, All right? Plus plus. <clears throat> okay, so this time we're going to do the exclusive or. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's let's just focus on this one here. So I want to do n of the i position is equal to n of the i position, this caret symbol, and then the last position would be n of the length of the n position minus one minus i, right? Don't forget that i. And then we do that and we assign that to n of the first position, <clears throat> okay? Uh, didn't like something here, what I do wrong here. Uh, what is it? Can I use a greater object? Okay, so that's a problem, right? Because I'm going, I got an object and it's an object doesn't like that. Um, so let's go back to, to before, just we use integer for now, okay? So integer, and then we'll put integer here. Okay, so we got that done. And then we'll do it again down here. The swap of the n that length minus one minus i. This is the last position. And I'm gonna copy this exactly same. You can put any order, doesn't matter here, okay? This can go first, doesn't matter. It's still the same. And then finally, copy this again. Do one more time. Like, so three swaps, basically. But you notice that I did not create any new additional variables, okay? And if it's correct, then it should have done the swapping for us. So let's take a look and uh, call this function here, function call here, pass into that and then save, let's run and see what happens. And here we go. As you can see, it's working beautifully. I can just show it does work 
put some different numbers here and try again. Here we go. They are nicely swapped. Okay, so this is using the exclusive or uh, operator. 